5 to the 27th power times 575 versus 5 to the 28th power times 115, which is bigger? Let's eliminate this answer, because there are numbers here. There are no variables, so it's certainly possible to tell which of these is bigger. Uh, but not if you restrict yourself to using the calculator they give you on the GRE. Both of these are much too big, and trying to plug them in, if the calculator doesn't even have an exponent button, so you'd have to do like 5 to the, five times 5, 27 times, and then multiply it by 575. It'll give up around the 10th exponent, okay, and just display a bunch of 9s. Plugging these numbers into the calculator will not work for us, so we have to get a little bit more creative. But we'll look at 5 to the 27th times 575 in a slightly more creative way. 575 must be divisible by 5 because its last digit is a 5. So that means I can do 575 divided by 5 in my calculator. And I can rewrite this number as 5 times 115 because I get 115 when I divide that by 5. Now, this 2 must be divisible by 5. It 2 ends in 5, 5 or 0. If the number ends in that, then we can divide it by 5. And it turns out when we do that, we get 23. So this is 5 times 23. So this is 5 to the 27th times 5 times 5 times 23. And now associative property says that really these parentheses don't matter too much. They're all being multiplied. We can do them by any order. Now look at this. 5 to the 27th times 5 times 5. Well, that's just times 5 squared. That's two more 5s added on to this string of 5s. So that means this whole block here is 5 to the 29th times 23. And you bet we're going to be doing a similar thing to the other number here to see if we can definitively say which of these is bigger. Now 5 to the 28th times 115, which is one we've already done. We've already seen that 115 is 5 times 23. All right, here we go again. Associative property. I am going to remove these parentheses. They don't matter too much. Now we have 5 to the 28th times an additional 5, times 5 to the first power. So 5 to the 29th it is, times 23. And would you look at that, these two things, when expressed in terms of just 5s and 23s, are clearly exactly the same thing. The two quantities are equal.